Hey guys, before I start today's video, I just wanted to give a humongous thank you to a really generous and awesome person by the name of Alan G. Sent a front tire, a fresh Dunlop qualifier front tire to match my rear. And uh, I uh, really appreciate that, man. I just wanted to give you a huge thank you for that. And um, having a fresh set of tires on my bike only means one thing. Me gusta porque está linda. you guys a spectacular day that I couldn't let go to waste and had to go moto vlog on I need to go grab some sex juice because I've been riding like that a lot lately and uh, I believe I've drained her dry hi can I please get eight doll hairs on number seven yeah Oh, fucking it. It's a sea of dickheads over here just driving all over the place. Can't go anywhere. There we go. Now my baby's ready to get down and dirty. So today, guys, I figured I'd have a nice subject we could all touch on. That would be nice and easy to, would be fun to hear the experiences from all of you. And um, that subject is your favorite memories of your childhood. And it could be anything. From your TV shows, favorite places you went, favorite places you visited, things you always used to do, you know, with your family, anything. I figured, you know, I could touch up on some of this, you know? And, uh, some random moments from my childhood that just pop into mind. I always used to watch, um, I always used to watch, uh, Hey Arnold and Cat Dog. Nickelodeon was my shit. I like Cartoon Network too, but I don't know, I was always on Nickelodeon. I just loved, um, Rocket Power. Rocco's Modern Life was probably one of my favorites. Rugrats was one of my favorites. Fucking, um, what else is there? Oh shit. I just unwillingly put myself on the street where those fucking dogs are that always chase me. Fuck, why do I always do that to myself? Oh fuck, am I gonna be able to make a bitch up there? Should I go for it? Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh shit. Watch out guys, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Man, get the fuck you. Get fuck you. Get the fuck away from me. Man, fucking piece of shit dogs. Oh man. Oh my, I thought my legs were about to be fucking bitten right there. I even lifted them up like, oh shit. Oh my God, they almost got a fucking thigh bone to chew on. Oh shit. Oh fuck, my heart's racing. I scared the shit out of me. Oh my God, back to our, uh, our childhood memories. And one thing I always was, always on was Pokemon. Pokemon was my main bitch. I'd be playing that shit for hours. I remember every time a new Pokemon game came out, I would literally play it for like eight hours straight non-stop like it was fucking crack. Like it was like that Game Boy was like a crack pipe. I couldn't put the motherfucker down. And I was like all up on that shit. To this day I actually have Game Boy emulators on my cell phone with all those Pokemon games still on them. 
if you can believe that shit. If any of you even play the Pokemon games back then, or you still even do, I remember playing fucking Pokemon. Red, blue, yellow, silver, gold, crystal, fucking ruby, sapphire, fucking all that shit. And I even had all the fucking cards. Can you believe that shit? I remember having them Pokemon cards and me and my friends would be battling them and I'd be like, BITCH! I use, and I'd have to read the card, I use Fire Spin, motherfucker, you're dead, bitch. And fucking like throw their cards off the table. Uh, the good old days of being a kid. You know what I'm gonna go do today? I'm gonna go to that spot where I found that fucking, um, where I found that wolf that one time, or coyote, whatever the fuck it was. I'm, shit, I'm not shitting you guys, that was a wolf. That scared the fuck out of me. And, uh, see what we can do about that. Maybe we can come across them again and have us a little re uh, reunion, you know? And turn your fucking Prius, motherfucker. My little miniature canyon road, I like to call this. With this super fucking sharp hook turn right here. I remember the first time I rode up this, this shit got me right here and I was like, oh shit. It's a really steep turn, or sharp turn. come across another wolf up here though I'm probably gonna run like a little bitch again but I'll try to capture him on film first before I run like a little bitch there it is yeah. look at these kids what are they doing that pool had water in it, I'd go jump in it real quick. Oh shit, it's the RV from Breaking Bad! I bet you there's a fucking meth lab in that shit. So we've arrived. As you can see, we're greeted by some lovely graffiti here. And I just noticed my zipper's down and my jimmy might fall out. Wonderful day for this. Simply wonderful. Oh, look how clear it is today, man. It's fucking beautiful. See all the hawks soaring in the air going, Arr! Last time I climbed up this bitch, I like nearly ran out of breath when I hit the top and like almost collapsed and rolled back down the damn fucking hill. All right, I'm gonna take this pathway, see if I can't make it to the top. Can you imagine if someone down there sees me climbing this hill and they do, they just see some dude in a fucking motorcycle helmet and jacket climbing the fucking dirt hill by himself? <laughs> but I look stupid as fuck. But isn't that a wonderful view though? Fucking splendid. There's a mansion hilltop over there. Just to get your bearings of where we at. Alright guys. See how I just walked up this hill a little bit? And then came across this random little trail. Yeah, this is all of San Bernardino. Everything you see around me is like five minutes from my house. So this is literally like dual sport heaven. I don't think, I don't even think you could even live in a better place than this for a dual sport. So you guys, what would you, wouldn't you guys love to have a dual sport to rip up in these hills right here? These little fields, these dirt, they're just fucking natural dirt bike tracks. <laughs> Just to have fun on at your disposal all of that all of that not to mention all these mountains so i'm telling you guys san bernardino city may be ghetto but we got this kind of paradise right at the north end of it 
There's a random sign up there. I want to see what that says. Or what it is. Must be a sign saying, Get the fuck out! There's coyotes! Hey baby, did you miss me? I mean, I get a lot of comments about where I live and how it looks like a nice place for dual sports and whatnot, so, you know, that's a good place, I figure, to take you guys to give you a basic little overview of what the city's like and what kind of areas we have to ride in, you know, what the city has to offer. Now, if you're not a motorcycle rider, the city has nothing to offer for you. But if riding's your life and it's all you give a shit about, like me, <laughs> I, I would say this is a good place to live. There are the ghetto parts, but every city's got its ghetto parts, some worse than others. Obviously, I mean, I could probably say Compton would be worse than this, you know? Compton's probably way worse than San Bernardino. But you know, if you guys are ever want to even come up here for like a visit, just to do some riding, it's the perfect place for that. I wanted to show you guys something real quick since I'm here. This is my dream house. I'm gonna literally buy this house one day, right there. See it? It's literally all glass. Every floor of it is like almost sliding doors, like four sliding doors in the front. Beautiful pool. Sick ass little balcony over the pool to fucking like jump into the pool and like crack someone in the head with your foot, you know, some fun shit. And on top of that, it's like the house is just so awesome looking. I mean, look how amazing it looks. It looks like some fucking kind of futuristic house. And then it's got like a spiral staircase to the up, up part. But I would for sure live in that house if I could. That'd be my dream house that I'm gonna buy one of these days. And when I do, moto vlogger party! You can all have fun doing some moto vlogs during the day and then come to my house right here, get smashed and hammered, fucking playing music loud, jumping in the pool, having all kinds of fun. Oh, there's my friends from up there. Cheer! It's a rare occasion when I get to cheer the same person twice. What's your guys' take on uh, how old you should be before you stop driving? Or what physical conditions you have? Because I'd say about 50% of the time it's just some stupid fuck that almost hits me or does something stupid. And the other 50% literally is always some really old person. That literally, oh my god, I've been hit, I've been almost hit to the point where I should have been dead. Like it was a miracle I wasn't dead. And the old person just looks at me with his face like <laughs> Like they don't even know what the fuck they're doing at the moment. They don't even know they're driving the car. And fucking, I don't, I don't even know man. I, I would kind of say, I don't want to, I don't want to be pushy here. Because there are a lot of really coherent like 90 year olds. Then there's very incoherent fucking 70 year olds even. But man, they are dangerous. Not trying to be mean to old people, but fuck. So today's little question of the day. I wanted to ask, what was your your favorite childhood mo your favorite childhood memories? Anything it could be it could be anything that was your favorite thing you remember from a kid. So I think wrapping mine up, it'd be it would be my my Pokemon games, my Pokemon cards. Man, I used to love the fuck out of that shit. All my cool cartoons I used to watch.
San Bernardetto National Forest. Citizen Patrol, huh? I'm gonna do something to make you pull me over right now. He probably jumped on his little radio and went, got this dickhead on a green motorcycle. Uh, got some radio communication. Hold on. And he's uh, driving like a fucking dickhead. Well guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's motovlog adventure. If you enjoyed today's adventure, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. And you guys have yourselves a great day. See you later, guys.